So here I have some sculpty clay. Um, I don't know how that's gonna work with the um, what is it? Mold Max 60 that I have. Cause I've been told not to use any clay that doesn't have sulfur in it, and this has sulfur from what I heard. However, I think after I bake it, it should be okay. But then, um, when I'm going to place it in the mold, I'm going to use this clay, which is, it is the plas plasticine. Yeah. And this does not have sulfur. So maybe that's what they meant. But yeah. So I'm going to have my little bodice chiller, hopefully, maybe. We'll see. That looks like a little dagger. Um, so we'll see what happens. Um, I decided to take this wind up key and use it as a template. Ignore the butter knife and the pencil. <laughs> but as a template for a little mini dagger. Um, not sure how this is going to work out, but that's what I'm going with. Well, I started uh, putting the sulfur-free clay in here, which I just got a whole bunch of packs of it on Amazon. It's like kitty clay, if you can't tell. Um, <laughs> but it's sulfur-free, and it's pretty easy to mold. Um, so that's what I'm doing with this piece, which I made out of Sculpty and... Um, found a key thing to kind of use as a base for it so I knew what I was doing because I <sighs> I like to art but I'm not really great at freeforming so that's what's happening and then I made this box um out of what is that foam acrid foam I don't know hopefully it'll work um we'll see how the silicone uh reacts to it but you know what I'm just going with what I have um, but yeah so now I'm just putting the clay around here trying to smooth it out which once again not great at but I'm trying I'm trying it's a learning experience and then <laughs> my son get to the clay that's where most of the clay went I can't okay so I started with this here and I'm going to make it halfway Okay, I don't have the greatest lighting here, but I'm going to try to do my best. Um, I have my clay, what I want to mold, these lug nuts or whatever they're called. Uh, I made a little dimples, probably can't see them in here, so the other part can connect with that. But now I'm doing the silicone, so... So I got this, my mold 60. And pour it in here, which I think that's pretty good. Okay. I got this shake well. Um, it's the part B to mold max 60. Okay. Um, I would suggest measuring all this. I'm not. But also wear gloves, long sleeve, all that good stuff. Well ventilated. That's why I'm in the garage and the lighting sucks. See that? Yeah, so you gotta keep stirring. Ugh. Okay, I 
think I stirred this pretty well. So now it says to degas it, but I don't got that. That's too fancy. So instead, I'm going to pour it from a little above here, but not directly on what I want to cast. Because that's what they say. So should get rid of the bubbles, apparently, as it blows across. Up there, you saw how I was pouring it in that corner basically what I'm doing. Let this stand for a little bit and then I'm probably going to put this in the storage room. Let it fume out a little bit here, but I, I do want it to be more room temperature and it's like 37 degrees out here, so probably not the best. So this has been curing for over 24 hours now. And it's not really curing. Uh, ignore the mess and bananas, because bananas. Um, so yeah, pokey, pokey, pokey. Do you see that? Pokey, pokey. I think it's starting to slowly cure, but I don't know. I, I'm going to say it's um, the heat. Yes, that's totally what's going on. It seems to be getting more cured. I don't know if I should be doing that. I keep doing that. You know, I, yeah. Yeah. It seems to be getting more cured because it's, yeah, it wasn't doing that before. Okay. So I think it's getting more cured. So maybe it just needs another 24 hours and I have it on this heating pad and I have it on medium just to try to keep the temperature a little bit higher. I'm hoping it doesn't really ruin too much, but I don't think it should because yeah, 78 degrees. I just want it to be warmer than it was last night. So um, I'm not going to have it on this heating pad overnight because the temp here should be just fine and it should about well I don't know maybe I will maybe I'll keep it on low just to make sure but yeah I'll but that's the situation I don't know what's going on I might have messed it up um, I refuse to believe that it's my lack of not measuring um, part A and part B because obviously I am an artist and I know what I'm doing and that would no totally that's totally not it's totally the temp oh that's what I'm going with but we'll see if not um it's gonna get a little interesting tomorrow trying to <sighs> mold this mess and I don't know what I'm gonna do but hey guys are here for the journey right yay you yay you okay um so that's the situation hmm. i'm thinking this may have not worked i have the heating pad on but i don't think this worked um all right um plan b I guess I gotta make a plan B. All right, there's gonna be a plan B. To the Amazons. That's what we're doing. We're going to the Amazons. Yeah, letter cutters. Letter cutters, we're, we're gonna just do that. Okay, um, since it's been three days, I don't know. See, this is some, um, it's uh, so kind of soft. So I'm just going to let it cure. However, here's a new one. This is a letter cutter that I got. Put in the sulfur free clay. Um, I'm finishing putting more sulfur free clay in there and um, see if that works.
Yay, crafting. All right. I actually measured this this time. I figured maybe, just maybe, me not measuring it and winging it could have caused the other one to not set right. But, you know, of course, that's probably not it. But just to be sure, just in case, because, yeah, I measured that. I'm going to pour it into here, and I have my little nubbies and little dents to make sure that when it unmolds, um, yeah, it's, it's supposed to do something. We'll see what happens. Okay. I'm going to pour this in. It says not to pour it on the thing. Excuse the mess. All right. It's really hard to cord. It's supposed to just go over everything. So, do your thing. Silicone. There we go. There we go. Okay. Okay. I think this is going to be good. All right. I'm going to put this down. This is the first one I did like four days ago. And uh, you can see, still kind of goopy. And it's been four days. This I poured two hours ago. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, so um, I guess mixing helps. You know, mixing it correctly helps. So FYI, um, add more of the blue stuff if you're using Mold Max 60. Um, I didn't nearly use enough with this one. And hey, yeah, so this one's working so far. So yay. Um, there you go. That's my update for now. Guys, I did it. I did it. It worked. It's set. And I have a mold. Yay. Oh, oh, not three. Good mold. It's fine. It's fine. So now I just need to make more uh, or the other half and then I can do some fun stuff with metal. Yay. Awesome. I'm excited. Okay. I needed something higher to pour silicone in so I made this box so more will fit in and I put aquaphor. I know um, they suggest Vaseline or acrylic, but I just used Aquaphor. I'll see how that works because I like experimenting and um, I'm measuring the silicone now. Now that <laughs> I know you got to measure, I'm, I'm trying to be good about it. So we'll see how this works. And then I'm going to let it dry overnight, let it set overnight, and hopefully... Um, Tomorrow, I can unmold it. Okay, it's officially poured and set. So now I'm gonna wait. This, this little piece of crap is not curing, but that's okay. That's okay because this one, I think it's gonna turn out fine. Also, my son continues to make an army of things. Um, with the clay. There you go. Oh, here's the clay that I use. Okay. Doesn't that look cool? That's like art right there. That's art. So, yep. There's the situation. There's some mess. Because I got a lot of it. <laughs> That's what happens when you're crafting. And don't clean up right away. Um, but that's okay. Hopefully tomorrow this will be way more cleaned up. So yeah, we wait until tomorrow. All right. Okay, so I already cut away um, the tape surrounding this box, pulled out the blade. So now I just need to see if this will actually a mold and it's all okay. Even though I struggled getting this apart, there's some issues and uh, the edges were uh, totally <laughs> uh, combined together, but that's okay. I made it work. Um, 
This is not perfect, but I can file it down. Luckily, this is going to be the back part, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, I need to make the channels, the little air ducts and the channels for the Peter to go in and the little other tiny ducts to have the air escape. So that is what I will do next. All right, so now that this has been cast, it's totally dry. I used this X-Acto knife and I made little channels here so the air can get out here and here. And then I made this deeper, a deeper channel so the metal can be poured in there so yeah see those are my air channels uh, not the best video of this and then this wait no wait it's on this side ha 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 yeah so now i'm going to try to figure out the metal melting process which is going to be exciting for me so let's we'll see where this goes I have no idea what I'm doing, but eh. All right, so I added a extra little air channel here because I watched a video and I guess that would make a lot of sense. So um, we'll see if this works. All right, I'm recording. So I put talc on the inside here um they say graphite is better but talc is what i had so that's what i did okay, so i put a wire around this hopefully that will be enough my setup there's the silicone here's the pewter in the little multi pot here's the little scoopy thing i'm so technical uh heat gun because apparently if you heat the silicone, it'll make it smoother. So we'll see. And then safety gear. You gotta be safe. Oh, it's already smoking. Oh. Oh. I guess we just keep watching it. Oh, please don't explode. Melting. It's melting. Ooh, ooh, look at that. It's melting. I'm gonna have pewter. Ooh. Okay. What is I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Should I should I probably pour it there? Oh no. Okay, right? I guess that's it. Can you like tap it or anything or? No. <laughs> I think I should just leave it. Oh, careful. You're dripping. Oh. Okay. No. There we go. That was the four. That was the four. Okay. Ooh, solid. Ooh, solid. Definitely not using wire again. Lesson learned. We're recording. Okay. All right. Can you see okay? I think so. Okay. Oh, well, that just. Oh. I'll try to... Oh, that actually didn't turn out too bad. Yeah. Um. Let's see. 
can. Yeah, I don't want you to so, hurt yourself. I'll just grab it by a little bit. I want to see if you can lift it out. Nope. Oh. Hey. Like, because that's going, because that's already messed up. That doesn't look too bad. Yeah, you can clean that up with a yeah. hey. file or whatever. Okay. Don't burn yourself. Yeah, it's still a little warm, but not too bad. Hey, I did a thing. Yay. I did a thing. Good. Yay. <laughs> All right, now. Janet did science. All right, this is my first attempt of casting. Uh, it's not too terrible. This side turned out pretty well, actually. But this side, I don't know, I had some issues. I need to get the impurities out too. Just kind of get the good stuff. If you try and scoop it under the surface, you'll probably be okay. Okay. All right. it's just the air Maybe. oh I think it is pushing out yeah. oops I set everything on fire yeah it's pushing out so it, it should be fine I think it's just um, yeah, I let the mold sit for a while till it cools yeah. okay. I did a second casting well, I should have got that there. It's a king casting and it looks way better this this time. Way better. So much less uh sanding and filing I need to do. So All right. If I cleaned most of it up, honestly it doesn't need to be that clean because I do kind of like it a little bit rugged looking. And what I'm gonna do, I have some acrylic paint, just regular basic acrylic, brown and uh, black. And I'm gonna try to give it a sort of antique feel to it. Um, I have liver of sulfur patina, but that doesn't work on pewter. So instead of trying to get something specific to work on pewter, I'm just going to fake it. So that's what I'm going to do. Well, taking this tool, whatever it's called, I drilled a hole in this cork and that fits into this cigar holder. So now I'm just going to put a whole bunch of glue inside. Um, yeah, I don't really know what else I'm going to do. I, I, I'm winging it. I'm just winging it. We'll see. We'll see. So I cut this circle out of leather. Um, it's a little bit bigger than the cork I'm using. And I need slits in the middle here. So the sword can go through the middle. Um. I don't know if this is going to work out, but I'm just testing it out. So that's what I'm going to do. And then a whole bunch of super glue, another glue is going to happen. Well, there you have it. I pretty much finished it. Whoops. There goes the cigar holder. Yeah. Here's the cork. I basically glued embedded the pewter in there, glued it in, added the little leather circle made into 
molded it around the cork, added more leather around it to make it look somewhat like a thing. And um, yeah, I have myself an assassin bodice chiller. And it's pretty neat and I'm really happy with it. Yeah, let me see. See, there we go.